Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, today's video we're talking about the new Chop Shop robbery missions, and in particular, we're talking about the Gang Banger mission. I'm going to go through this with you guys all the way from start to finish, even on the sale, and show you everything, give you a good walkthrough, a tutorial, a guide, give you some tips and tricks. And guys, if you got anything extra for us, if you got any tips or tricks of your own, leave them in the comments down below. And this way we can help the community out by crowdsourcing our information. All right. So first things first, you need to go and make sure you have a, you know, an actual chop shop, a salvage yard. You'll purchase that. And you'll notice on the computer, you have three different vehicles to choose from. And you only get three per week, real IRL week. So once you select a car that you want to uh, steal, It'll give you the actual mission. I haven't found a way that you can actually pick which mission you want. I'm not sure if they're uh, dedicated to each car or they're just random. But this one is going to be the Gang Banger Robbery. And first up, just like many of the other uh, mini heists like the Auto Shop Contracts or regular heists like Casino or Cayo, you got to do a scope out mission. All right. And this particular one, we're going to be scoping out the Mission Row Police Station. Because that's where we're going to have to break out one of our friends, King Tiny, to help get us the information on where the vehicle is going to be so we can rob it and then sell it. Alright, so we'll talk to Jamal for a little bit. We're going to roll over here to our vantage point. And from the vantage point, basically what we're doing is we're just kind of taking a look around at a few of the spots that we're going to be taking pictures of. And you can get a couple of them already knocked out just by going to the roof. Of the vantage point, you'll see a blue arrow on top of the target area where you need to take a picture of. First one was this chopper right here. You'll be utilizing that in this robbery mission. Next up is going to be the AC unit. You'll be utilizing this again in the robbery mission. So we'll take a photo of that. And you do need to be a little bit close. Uh, it's kind of sensitive on how it will accept the photo. Go ahead and knock that out. And then we got one more, which will be on the back side of the police station. You can get up on the bridge right here. All it is is it's the, uh, it's the entrance or the exit uh, from the police station that we'll be using as well. Take a photo right there. Be careful. There is a suspicion bar that can raise up and you could fail the uh, scope out mission. So if the cops are looking at you too long or some kind of suspicion or whatever, that can trigger it. So pay attention to that and watch out. Once we do that... We're turned to the salvage yard. We're good to go. Scope out mission is complete. Once that or the scope out mission is complete, it opens up the board to the rest of the setup missions that you have to complete. Now, there are two different types of setup missions. All right, you're going to have the planning work, which will be uh, two of the setup missions down below that you see. And then if you look at the top right, you will see that there are tasks as well. The tasks are done in free mode. So you don't actually, you're not in a, a particular mission. And those tasks will be identifiable by a green duffel bag icon on your radar. And we'll take a look at that a little bit later on. But the first of the planning work missions, Police Maverick. We're going to go ahead and pick that up. And what we're going to do on this one is we're going to go head over to the Weasel News Building. And from the Weasel News Building, we're going to find out some more information about where the Police Maverick is located. All right, so I'm going to go ahead over here and hack into the signal box. And this is also familiar. This is Volt Lab. We've seen this with uh, the Cayo Perico heist. It's a real simple hack. Uh, you just equal the target number. I mean, I'm sure most of you know how this works. I mean, obviously, right? Uh, so we'll go ahead and get this knocked out. The Weasel News feed will be getting hacked into, and we'll see where the actual police maverick is going to be located. So once we do that, we're going to back out of the screen. And then we're going to head over to that particular location. It's just a lot of Red Rover kind of AGL, right? Uh, so, that, and that's okay. Not that big of a deal. It's, it's part of the actual mission. No problem. Uh, be care very careful, all right? I just thought I was going to pull up on this chopper, murk these cops out and go, but <laughs> the blades got me. I chose violence on this one. Uh, <laughs> Jamal is recommending that you go in stealthy. You don't have to, though. You can just kind of murk everybody out. Be careful you don't blow any, you know, the chopper up or whatever. I just landed and uh, finished the, the, the job with the AR. Picked up the chopper and we bugged out. Lose the cops. Of course, you can't use Lester. You can use Lester on some of these, not all of them. No, you know, so it's kind of annoying. Uh, anyways, though, go ahead and land the chopper at the marked location. And we're done with this planning mission. Next up on the board for the planning missions, we got tactical gear. 
All right, we have to pick up some tactical gear to make this robbery work. So we're going to head over to Rockford Hills. Now, remember, guys, these missions may be similar and different just depending on which chop shop location you have and just the variations of these particular missions. So, but they're going to be relatively similar and the same, okay? But there may be a few you know, locations might be different. Some of the interiors might be different, but it's all going to be roughly the same kind of concept. All right, on this one, we're going to locate the tactical gear. We have to go down to the basement, and then we're going to have a nice little uh, conference with some of these fine gentlemen down here. And we're looking for the riot vans, and with the search through these, to find the tactical gear. As you see right there, I got that tote full of the gear behind that cage uh, door right there inside the uh, the right van. And this is our target vehicle. So we'll have a few more bad guys spawn in as we locate the vehicle. Go ahead and uh, dispatch them of their services. And we'll get inside the van and head on out of here. Real simple, real easy. You, of course, you'll have some bad guys chasing you. Uh, just, you know, let them know you don't need anything for, you know, you've, you've already got plenty of insurance for your vehicle. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> deliver this to the salvage yard and this mission is complete. Now, as we go back to the board, you're going to notice there are a couple of these, uh, either planning work or tasks that are optional. And yes, you do not have to have those done to complete this particular robbery mission. However, you do need them for some of your platinum awards and your career progress okay so i'm going to go ahead and go through the disrupt equipment optional planning work mission now you don't have to have these but you do need to have them done at least once or twice uh for the uh, the awards okay so we're gonna head over to the lspd lockup and if you're familiar with how the disruption missions work for the casino heist we're basically uh, you know, kind of tilting the scales in our favor against the NPCs by destroying uh, equipment that they could use to, you know, help them beat us in this mission. So we're just trying to make the mission a little bit easier. Going to go ahead and destroy the LSPD equipment. I tried with a minigun. You got to use some uh, some kind of explosive, though. And then we're going to pick up the schedule, and then we can bounce out of here. Now, once we do that, there's going to be some LSPD equipment that's located throughout the map. We're going to have four separate targets. Gonna go ahead and dispatch of that equipment. You have a time, uh, you know, countdown timer to get this done. You should have no problem at all. Right, knock this out. And then this will complete the optional, uh, you know, planning work for you, okay? Now, once we get this knocked out, we're gonna move on to our tasks. And again, like I said, the tasks are just simply done in free mode. You see, we have getaway vehicle, stun guns, weapon stash, and the optional one is the masks, all right? And uh, like I was saying, there's a green duffel bag icon that will tell you where these are located. And then you'll see a green corroder ring, and that will kick it off. On this particular one, we're going to be picking up the getaway vehicle for this particular robbery mission. We're going to go in here and uh, hang out with some of our buddies, uh, chop it up a little bit, see how they're doing. And once we uh, <laughs> finish our conversation with our friends here... You can pick between several of different getaway vehicles. And just like the casino heist, the getaway vehicle, you don't have to use it. It's just a prerequisite for the actual, uh, you know, robbery mission itself to get done. I chose the uh, monstrosity over here just because it's a quick, nimble. It's got some uh, defensive capabilities with those plates in the back right there. And we got that done. So next, I'm moving on to the next one, which will be the weapon stash. This task, it, the good thing about the tasks is that they are really close to where you start them at. So you just kind of have to go around the corner and you're good to go. This one I have to go into ammunition, locate the unmarked weapons. You'll see a green duffel bag over here somewhere, whichever location you have. You'll pick up the duffel bag and we'll head on out of here. All right. So and then what we want to do is stash these at the police station uh, that we scoped out. And we're going to stash them at the exit uh, over here and it'll be underneath this particular little uh, dumpster again just due to the variations of whatever chop shop location you have it may be a different police station it may be slightly different in terms of you know how that mission is set up for you but it's all going to be conceptually similar all right that task is complete now the final task i couldn't really see where it was on uh, my uh, mini map so i opened up in the expanded map over here and it showed me that the last one was over by the casino. It's marked up on the map. It's nice, very simple to find that. And we're going to head that way. 
And this one is going to be, we need to get the stun guns. Now, what you do not know, what I'm going to tell you now, is that these robberies have objectives. They have, like, finale objectives that you have to complete that go towards your career progress uh, and your platinum awards. And it's things like, you know, finishing these in under a certain amount of time, not killing cops. I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment, though. And, you know, I didn't know what, that these even existed until after the fact. So hopefully this will help you out in a big way. And you can get this done because, again, we can only do these once a week. So if you mess up on it, you're going to have to wait a whole week, right? So now the only other task I'm not going to do and show you is the masks. You know what to do. You go to the mask shop. It's real simple, real easy. All right, I'm, I'm not going to show you that. You should already know how to do it. Just go to the mask shop and pick up a mask. That's how you get that optional, optional mask task done. All right? What, now we're all good to go. All the planning work, all the uh, tasks are completed. Let's go ahead and start the actual robbery. And we're going to pick up the Grotti Turismo Amagio. Now, the finale is a multi-tiered finale. And what I mean by that is that there's, like, uh, stages that you have to complete before you're actually ready to sell the vehicle and make money. Okay? So, first, we go pick up the police maverick. All right. We're in our cool little police outfit, our noose outfit, our uniform. We're going to go ahead and land the chopper over here. And then we took the picture of the AC unit, ducks, and we're going to drop some tear gas or... Or some kind of gas in there to mess with the cops or to incapacitate the cops, right? First off, I have to get this guy. And listen, this is part of this mission's objectives. You cannot kill any cops. That's why you have the stun gun, all right? So please, do not kill. And this will become an issue once you pick up your weapon stash uh, later on. So we'll drop the tear gas inside those air ducts. Go through this cut screen, uh, this cut scene right here with a cop. You know, stumbles out and opens the door for us. And now we head on down to the first floor. As you see, this is one of the only instances where your tear gas or your uh, mask, your actual uh, gas mask will work for you. I wish these worked in free mode, but they don't. Again, be careful not to kill the cops. Just stun them. We're going to go ahead and steal the cell keys. And we're going to go down to the basement of the, of the police station where the jail is. And we're going to liberate our friend King Tiny. Again, pay attention to your health and armor. And let me know in the comments down below. Dude, the NPCs, the cops, they are way more aggressive. Way more aggressive with this update. And it seems like the NPCs are using way more powerful weapons. And I've just been burning through my snacks. It's ridiculous. Let me know in the comments if, they, if you guys agree with that. All right. Anyways, though, let's go ahead and free King Tiny. He's going to uh, hack the little pin code. He's, he tells you that he's seen them put the, you know, the code in. Got a couple of FIB agents right here. Be careful. These guys almost murked me out. I missed that second stun shot right there. But it's all good. Snack up. Take care of that guy. Now uh, we can pick up the uh, weapons. You're going to need to get this because you have to blow up the door uh, lock mechanism on the wall to exit out of the gate right here. So it's kind of like a little uh, of, of a predicament. Now I got guns. And because I did not know, you can't use this car right here. We have to get out. And the cops pull up. You got multiple cruisers. You got a noose van that pulls up. So it's like, you know, it's, it's very difficult not to use your gun, right? So we go ahead and mark out these guys. Again, do your best not to do this because it will fail the overall uh, bonus objectives. Just keep stunning them. You can use one of the cars there. Dip on out. Lose the cops. No, you cannot call Lester. Uh, go ahead and you. I, I will give you permission to use Ty's Tunnel. I will make sure I keep it unlocked for you. So go drive over to Ty's Tunnel, lose the cops down there. And then we're going to take King Tiny to LSIA, where he's going to jump on his chopper and bug on out of here. And once he does this, that's the deal. We get him to the chopper, free him. He tells us the info about the Amagio. All right, so we get the info, we get the location, and we have to go pull up on the Vagos. And be careful because they are about that action. Get completely lit up, right? Again, these NPCs are crazy aggro right now. They're way more powerful with this DLC. And uh, I absolutely think that something's been turned up. An uh, this is just another form of AGL, and it's a way to manipulate the player engagement. And they do they're d Rockstar's doing it unorganically, which is going to hurt them in the long run. But, you know, whatever. Again, let me know in the comments what you think about that. I definitely think that the NPC aggression and, uh, and, and their ability to cause more damage has absolutely been turned up. Right? So we pick up the Amagio. Now we need to head to the salvage yard. There'll be some bad guys chasing you. Don't worry about that. 
And there we go. Now we're pretty much, we're almost done. So we, we freed King Tiny. That was the first level. That was the first tier. Uh, we went and got the car. That's the second tier. Now we're back at the salvage. And this is where we find out about the bonuses from the actual robbery mission. As you see right here, uh, the target was the Imaggio. No cop lives lost. I failed that one. I got the jailbreak in three minutes. King Tiny has 75% health. So 10 grand for each one of those. Uh, you basically get a $50,000 bonus if you get this knocked out. If you complete all the bonuses, it's a $50,000 bonus. So that's what that is. I got 20 grand of it though, so still something. And then now we're ready to sell the car. You can either salvage it or with, for less money, or you can just drive it down to the terminal dock and get all of your money. And guys, we earlier we thought that by doing all three of these at the same time gave you a bonus. It does not. There is no bonus. There's no high demand bonus. Uh, for friends helping you, they don't even get paid, whether they're CEO or MC, uh, business organization associates. There is no benefit to selling these as a, a trio. Just sell them at your own leisure, one at a time. Don't worry about you know bogging your friends down because they don't get paid for it. It doesn't help you. It doesn't count towards their career progress either. It's only for the host. So keep that in mind. But there you guys have it. That's a complete walkthrough, a uh, breakdown, and a guide. Hopefully it helped out. Hopefully some of these tips and tricks will help you guys pass this mission. And if you got anything else for us that I haven't talked about, leave it in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel for the Hills Rules content. The game, smash, I mean, smash that like button. See you guys in the next one. All right, peace out. Yeah.